edit that out. Help support the companies that support our community. I used the quick coat for this because I wanted to stop that drip as it was coming down the side, but I got carried away and poured it way too thick. It's not a casting resin like the super cast, so you can't go very deep with it with it without it really bubbling up and starting to crack. It started smoking, so I had to redo this one. What I did is I went ahead and turned the other two, got everything ready, and I filled them all up with white just shy of the top and then I put a thin layer of the resin over the top of that because if it's thin you don't you won't have any problems it won't hardly bubble at all but it, the supercast is much better if you're trying to do a, a thick pour so on the quick coat it works great but don't try and get it too thick
After I got it off the lathe, I finished carving out the grooves, the part where I couldn't get when it was still on the base, and sanded that all up. I also flattened the bottom off so it sits nice and flat when I put it on the base, and then I went ahead and sanded the whole piece all the way up to 600 with the doctor's walnut oil. I mixed up a little bit more resin, and this is the quick coat. This is stuff that sets up in about three hours. It actually sets up in about 15 minutes, but it's totally dry and ready to sand in about three hours. So I mixed in a little bit of the brown base tint and then some coffee metallic. I, we were trying some tests on it with on plastic and stuff. And you could still kind of see through it a little bit where the plastic was raised up. So I grabbed a piece of sheet metal, which worked perfect. If you're gonna do a base like this, use something where the resin that the resin won't stick to, like metal or plastic or something it just pops right off so it, it worked out perfect but adding that little bit of the coffee metallic worked out great I used a plastic spoon to kind of spread it around a little bit give it an abstract shape just kind of make it look like melting chocolate and I did after I got the oil on, I with 80 grit, I sanded the bottom again. You need to get that oil off of there and give the resin something to bite to. On the first one here, the resin was still wet. So you got about, once you get it out of the cup with this quick coat, you got about 15 minutes or so to play around with it. So I had that one ready to go and I just set it right down in the resin. But you do need to sand off, sand off that oil. On the second one I did, I didn't have the egg done at the time I poured those. So I just kind of scuffed up the resin a little bit. So if, even if you're pouring resin on resin or resin onto wood, it needs something to bite to. So scuff it up a little bit. I scuffed it up with, I think, 180, the, the stand there. But it, I really like the way it came out. I love these kind of shapes. We've been doing a lot of resin projects, just kind of playing around with it. And Robin's been taking the the overflow off and putting them around stuff on the stuff in the house and I just thought it was a cool idea and I thought for something like this where it won't stand up on its own a base like this is perfect I even want to was thinking I want to do a, a resin sphere and then pour resin for the base I think it would look really cool like it was melting out of it but it's a fun project well I hope everybody's doing well and uh, getting through this but we will see you on the next video and until then everybody stay safe see ya